Greetings, salutations, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. I am trying out using my Ray Ban. Um, I forgot what these are called. Stories glasses. So that is what I'm using while filming today, and we will see how it goes. I'm pretty excited to see what this video will look like and I have a couple different errands I have to run today so I'm going to take you guys along with our first thing that we're going to do is I am heading over to the grocery store or actually to UPS I'm going to UPS because I have to drop off a package and then we are also going to go to Dollar Tree and where else are we going to go Dollar Tree uh, oh, and to the 99 cent store because I have to pick up balloons because tomorrow is Lazo's birthday. Okay, I just left. Well, I'm just leaving out the now. I dropped off my package. Let's go to the car. And now we're going to go to what's closest? I think Dollar Tree's closest. Let's go there first. How pretty is this uh, mountains in the sky? It's gorgeous right now. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Okay, I hope this thing is filming correctly. I need to like, I'm trying to get into this. The only stinky thing too about using the glasses is that I can't use my headphones and my glasses at the same time. So that's kind of annoying, but I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I can figure out a work around it. Like what the work around it is, but yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm filming with my glasses at the same time as... Wait, hold on. How did I do that? It's working. Interesting. Okay, you guys. I don't know if I fixed it, but something's happening. I'm using both my glasses and my headphones. This is revolutionary. Trying it again. It's still working, so it wasn't a fluke. So I'll work excited. Yay. Decided that we're going to go to Lineage Trading first because I might not be able or I probably won't be able to go to Veterans Thrift today. And at least Lineage Trading is here. And the Dollar Tree is literally on the other side of the shopping center. So this is on the way. And I got Princess Parking. Yeah. Ooh, so many goodies. Coach is cute, it's 85. There's that vape coach, that's 350 for the bag, 250 for the wallet. MCM. Oh, I need to see how much that Mark Jacobs bag is. And the Izzy Miyake is 95. That Tory Burch is 85, it's super cute. Burberry, ooh, that toggle coat is 90, that's kind of cute too. These Doc Martin platforms, these are 70 size 8 women's. Not in bad condition. Capri, oh, look at these orange ones. Oh, these are only $42.50. These are that Montclair jacket, is so nice. Then there's that Alexander Wang shorts. JW Anderson Converse for $40. These are so cute, but they're a size 12. Why are these so big? Sad. Guys, I didn't end up getting anything at Lineage Trading. Um, so actually, I'm gonna I might go to go the Goodwill right now <laughs> and see if I can find anything that's literally next to Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go there first. Okay, just got to Dollar Tree and Goodwill. See, they're right next to each other. Let's go to Goodwill first and see what we can see. All right, Goodwill, here I come. I always forget that they moved everything here. The bags are back here now. Let's see if we can find any cool bags. Leather. Okay, 
Okay, nothing looks too exciting in the handbag section. A cat. A little cat mug for four dollars. These look like eyes, that's kind of cool. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything too exciting here. Well, actually, let's check one more section. Usually the backpacks. Oh, I thought this was like a Madewell backpack, but it's leather. So not the Madewell backpack. Transport Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. Snoopy. Oh, this <laughs> this is actually Pottery Barn Kids. It says Kennedy on there. Little Super Mario Brothers backpack. Everest. Okay. That. Oh my gosh! It only has one set of eyelashes. It is horrifying. We are on our way to Dollar Tree. Let's check it out. We need to get some balloons for sherzies. Maybe some gift bags. Here are the balloons. Definitely need ones that say happy birthday, such as that one. Definitely a blue star, Liza's favorite color. This gold one. What's this red one? It's your day? It sure is. Oh, you're number one? Yes. I got a bunch of balloons. Now, okay, now we need gift bags. Gift bags. Oh, and we need some cards, too. Eliza likes funny cards. That's, his, that's my go-to for him. But let's look at these birthday bags first. Need to find something outer spacey, maybe. The Pippery one looks pretty cute. We'll get these two. I think we need like a different size also. I don't know why I like this one so much because it has like this filling inside of it. Oh, there's this one is perfect. That one's cool. Oh, why did I get so excited? Yes, look at the festivities. These baby ones. Hello, baby. <laughs> that should be really funny if I got that for him because I always call him a little, my little baby. Birthday llama is cute. Let's get a uh, shark. Hold on, the shark is calling my name. Am I just buying a bunch of gift bags? Maybe. Do I have presents to put inside of the gift bags? Probably not. Okay. I'm trying to look for like birthday decorations here, but the Decorations at 99 cent store is actually better. Like you come here for balloons and like the birthday bags, but for decorations, I feel like it's 99 cent store has the best decorations. So I think I'm actually gonna go there instead because I don't, like they have these, but I like the ones that look like balloons. Those just are better, I feel like. They do have inflatable, but these just say happy. Where's the part that says birthday? I say happy, you say birthday, happy birthday, birthday. Okay, now I just need to find a card really quick. Cards also, best place, cards here. Oh, what's shaking vegan? That's a cute one. The perfect card for Eliza because he loves outer space. I'll show you guys the cards that I'm getting. So I'm gonna get this to give to, for Kate to give to Eliza because they love eating bacon. And then Zach is obsessed with harmonicas and he asked for one for Christmas and this is a harmonica playing hamster, so essential. Okay, now I just need to get a card for my mom and dad to give to him and then we're good. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get this one, this owl that says you're how old? I'm gonna get this for Eliza also. I just love giving funny cards, my favorite. Let's go back inside the car. We're full of balloons. Let's go to... Dollar, no, 99 cents starts across the street. And 99 cents store, here we have 
Wait, this giant cupcake balloon is actually super cute. Do I need to get one of these? It says happy birthday. What else do they have? Do they have like a rocket ship? Oh, that blue happy birthday one is kind of fun too. Here we go. These are the balloons. They're fantastic. Happy birthday. Is that blue? I'm just going to do the silver one because I don't see any other colors. Let's see what other decorations they have. Let's see what bags they have. Do they have any cute... Oh, they have like a video game bag. That's kind of festive. I have to get one of these candles. These are the best. Three dollars for that. What else do we need? Anything interesting here? Got the goods. Got a balloon. Let's go home. Alright, we just got to the mall and we're going to color me mine. If we can find out where it is. There are the kids. So oh, Zachary Banks. Ooh, can I put it on? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, the Alright. They're already recording, so you just have to Welcome. Does this have a mic? Yeah. Welcome to. Um, we just gone. come over here and look at that bag. Oh, you gotta show this. Uh, ooh, the Sonic. That looks cool. Uh, press it once. Press it. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. Uh, this. Uh, Standing That's what you want already? You decided? What do you mean you're doing two? You're only doing one. You want to do a cup and a plate. <laughs> maybe, maybe not that big. Oh. You got your pink inside. You tell me. It's just paint, it's okay, you can just wash it off. Hello, we're in Color Me Minds. Yeah. Oh, color Me Minds. I'm coloring my white. Yeah. Go show them what yours Mine looks like this. <laughs> Mine looks like this. It looks great. It's not that good. No, it's smudged on that one. It's okay. It's only because you pencil. It. it comes off. It comes off. So here, do your outline. To what? Of this. Alright. What do I use? For, for my my name. What color? 
Fifty percent. Looking good. Now we just need to do my balloons. The day of Eliza's birthday, and I have all his stuff set up. He's still at school, so I'm actually gonna head out and run a few errands. But yeah, I'm using my glasses. Oh, how cute is this little printed Chanel tote? 25 bucks. I wonder if this was like a gift of purchase thing. I wonder if someone just had this made or something. They probably did actually. This is so cute. One seventy. It has a little pouch inside too. It's like kind of adorable. So I'll hold on to that for now. Anything in the pouches? Not that I can see. Oh, that tiny little Gucci belt. I don't think it's real though. Those Chanel shoes. 399 or 400 bucks. Don't think they're too expensive. Louis Vuitton hat is so intense. It's probably fake. I think those are Dior sunglasses, 75. There's a Chanel perfume, a Dior perfume. Chloe. Oh, this one? <laughs> It's pretty cute, huh? Yeah, and this thing is... I think that's a Tiffany bracelet. It's 40 bucks. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. That little bead bracelet is kind of cool. That one's 50 bucks, though. But that Tiffany one is 40. That one looks pretty cute. Got two bracelets. I want to check out those jewelry bags. There's also a Stanley up there. Stanley's cute, but it's a little too worn for the price. Gucci wallet. This definitely is not real. Thirty bucks. Okay, this is a this was the Gucci wallet. Oh, wallet belt. It's very Hazeltine cord. I know him though. This is alligator, but I don't think it's the original. Let's see if there's anything cool here. They have a bunch of like Taekwondo belts though. Many ears. This is what I'm looking for back straps. Um, looking through the men's shoes, I found these. Um, they're called the Great. Little sneakers. They're not in bad condition. Oh, there is a little color transfer up top though, but those are 15 bucks. I think they're on sale for like half off. Um, Adidas. Oh, you know what? I need to look for shoes for my mom and my aunt. They really want Sambas. Well, my aunt really wants Sambas. My mom just likes Adidas shoes, like comfy ones, like walking. So I'm finding some crazy belts. I found a bunch, not a bunch, a couple. Are these um, Hazeltine cord belts? No, these are like collectible and they're like exotic leathers, which is crazy. I'm trying to see if I can find any more. Because there was one at the counter with like a fake Gucci strap on it. But these have the original buckles. This one has a butterfly. And this one has a moon, which is really cute. I should probably head over to 
the men's belts also. But let me look through here. These ultra boosts are not bad. Oh, but they're 50 bucks. That's not good. Not Uggs. Oh, the colors on these are nice. Cola? Gola. Okay, let's check out these men's belts. Today's a belt kind of day. Okay, maybe nothing in the men's belts. <laughs> I got too excited. Columbus, Columbia, Columbus. I do want to look in the hoodies though, but let's start off in the large section because that's usually where the best ones are. Bond? Wait, hold on. What do I like the color of this? Um, first, there's you. Hmm. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Crop. It is 1901. Nordstrom, originally 70, down to 41. Here, 25. Was this jacket only 15 bucks? Is there like something wrong with it? That's just dirty, it's not a hole. This is like. This is like an expensive brand. I think this is... Oh, it has like a stain? I think that just needs to be washed. I honestly think it's just dirty around the neck or something. I think it just needs a washing. Like, you know, like someone sweated in it or something? I don't know, maybe? Should I take a chance on 15 bucks? See what else we can find? Ooh, Eddie Bauer. This is so yellow. 25% off. Okay, this isn't bad either. Aria has nice stuff. Miss Claiborne. Nidak. Sarah Columbia. This is kind of a nice color. Coral and the Bear. Michael Kors, 75. Oh, that's kind of nice too. I'm looking for jackets for my dad. I'm always finding him jackets. Ew, these Toy Bird switches are so cute, but they're 50 bucks. And Coach, 30. Okay, I was gonna look through these jackets. See if there's anything interesting here. River Island. Sequins, Dolce Cabo, Kendall and Kylie. Moschino shirt is pretty cute. Tag looks I just found this Dunia Burke Star Wars wallet. Ew, it's so cute on the inside. It's super green. It's only 15 bucks. Hot dog. Taking one more look through the bags again, just in case I find something cool. They brought out some new things. So, we shall see. This is Calvin Klein. This is uh, Michael Kors. 150 yikes that's a lot Steve Madden Betsy Johnson that's a fake we need to add to the store got all my goodies now let's go to Albertsons a bike cake oh, look at the sky it looks amazing so pretty all right we just got to Albertsons let's get that cake I almost forgot to grab a cart. Oh, I'm gonna get a Lizo. This. Wait, what's his favorite flavor? Oh, salt and vinegar. <gasps> Do they have like the large salt and vinegar? Is this barbecue? Oh, it is. And that's sour cream. Where's salt and vinegar? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. It's the blue one. Yeah, I don't see like the party stack of this, which is sad.
There wasn't anyone inside the bakery, so I couldn't get them to write Eliza's name. But it's okay because I got like a giant candle thing, so it's fine. Hey guys, okay, so I am back at the house. It's actually a couple days later, but I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting when we went over to Veterans Thrift. Um, I'm gonna start off first. I got the, this little, the round bracelet right here. So I did end up getting that. And that one, oh, I lost the price tag. I, oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. It was... Oh yeah, it was $49.99, but I believe it was like 75% off. So I did get this for a decent price, and it is um, sterling silver. And now I have two sterling silver bracelets. I'm on the I'm on the prowl like this year. I feel like it's gonna be the year of bracelets for Adrian. So I got that. And I am pretty excited. And then... I, I guess I'll show you this first. So, I did end up getting this jacket. I'm gonna... I'm literally gonna wash it right now. Because I want to um, see if I can clean it. It... Like, do you see, like, the top... Is it coming off the of camera? It's like the... It's, I feel like it's like a sweat stain or something, right? So... I'm gonna wash it and we're gonna see if I can remove it. Cause this is a Tumi jacket, like Tech by Tumi. And these are pretty expensive jackets. And I got this for such a good price. It was only $14.99. And can I put this in the dryer? Tumble, ah, oh, yes, tumble dry low. Okay, I'm definitely going to wash this tonight and then dry it and then I'll see how if we can like get the color off of that like that stain i think it's just a sweat stain at first i was like is it maybe like a sun like was it like sun bleach like the rest of it because it was lighter i think it's sweat stain so we shall see um also i did end up getting there was this what was the brand? I forgot the brand of jacket. It was like a women's jacket. And I did end up picking that up. It was like brand new with tags. And I think it was like $5. I don't remember. But I ended up selling that to Crossroads already. So I no longer have it. But I did end up getting that. And then I got a bunch of belts. So let's start off with the Michael Kors belt. This one was 10 bucks, And this is just like a simple belt it is the michael kors gray like graphite monogram and that was ten dollars has a silver buckle this is a size medium size medium i love that it's like that metallic color on the inside cute belt so michael kors i like the graphite color too then oh i also did get this little guy right here this one is a, uh, I know this is another Michael Kors belt and this is a, like a leopard print calf hair with gold hardware. I thought this was really cute. Just like a cute little gold belt. It, this one doesn't have a size. And the reason I knew it was Michael Kors was because they had Michael Kors right there on the hardware and this was only $5. So that was a good catch because they probably priced it lower because they didn't notice that it was Michael Kors. I'm actually surprised they priced this other one at $10 because I feel like normally they price them more. And it's about, yeah, it's like the same length as the other one. So also a size medium as well. I don't think I've bought this many belts at once in a long time. All right, then these last two belts are so, so cool. And they are both... Um, Keseltine cord belts and I know that Keseltine cord was like a really like popular and expensive brand um, like a while ago and it has th this like a really really cute so this one is a moon design for the buckle which I think is so so cute and this is actually genuine lizard in this beautiful green color and yeah made in Italy and I know like this designer was really like their stuff was really popular I think Kizzleton's cord was a jewelry maker first I believe and then he started making 
other sorts of accessories, belts and handbags and stuff. If you ever see the handbags, they're so cute. I love the one that have like li the little feet on the bottom are literal feet and they look like like a little lizard feet or something. They're really, really cute. I actually had one a while ago that I thrifted from the Goodwill. I wish I still had it because that was such a cool find. That's the only reason I know about this brand was because I did some research on it when I found it. And these are, um, this is a size two belt. So they're pretty small. What's cool too is I actually saw another Kizzeltine cord belt in the boutique section of the store. It was red crocodile, but they changed out the buckle. So you can actually change out the buckles on these. I think they, yeah, these snap off. And someone put a Gucci one on it, though I don't think the Gucci buckle was authentic. So I, yeah. Okay, quick update. I did find the markings on this one. It's actually inside right there. I don't know if that's going to show on camera at all, but this is actually, it's sterling silver, but it's coated in 24 karat gold. So it is crazy. And I actually did a little bit of research and I did find it online on Etsy. Someone's actually selling this for $400. So 400 bucks on Etsy. That is crazy. I am trying to find the other belt as well. I actually was scrolling to find the butterfly or the fairy belt and as I was scrolling I like this one popped up in silver first and then I was like oh and then I clicked on it and I was like ooh silver sterling and that's how I found out that the writing was inside because they had photos of the inside and it showed like where the writing was and I was like oh then I found the gold one underneath which is crazy so that was 400 bucks and I feel like the the like the uh, fairy one is a little bit harder to find online, but we shall see if uh, Hadrian can find it. It's a little a little bit more difficult, I think. Maybe it's more rare. So really excited. That is crazy. I got this for fifteen dollars, and just like the buckle. I found for, I mean, it, it all depends on what it sells for. Um, I didn't see anything that sold yet, but I'll have to do more research, but that's crazy for this belt. I know this brand, like the Keseltine cord, Keseltine, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is um, collectible and he, that's what I thought, like I, all his stuff had like sterling and stuff. I think all his pieces, like the metals for the most part were like um, sterling, silver, or like whatever. So I thought that was really cool. Super cool. So, very excited. Uh, but yeah, that's just like the quick update. This is the other belt. This one is super cute. It has a fairy. It has like a fairy with butterfly wings. So, so cool. Um, it's cool too. It says Keseltine's Cord 1999. Oh! It is. This is in sterling silver. This buckle is really heavy too. It's all like embossed right there on the back and this one is in yellow lizard skin also a size two beautiful belt like the color is so pretty let me look at this one does it also say keselteen cord it does not so i don't know if this one is like the actual buckle it may have been switched out i might have to do a little bit of research on when I open it up, though, it does have, like, a little number. It says J3, I think, one, or no, 1326 on it. So, I will have to check that out. I am not 100% certain. But the buckle itself is still really, really cute. I love the, the moon face on it. Let me see if this one says anything when I unbuckle it. This one has the numbers 154 on there so i don't know maybe who knows i'm honestly not 100 percent certain but this buckle is so cute though and it's really heavy i can't believe that's sterling yeah 925 cool i'm gonna polish this up but i kind of like the look of it but well, that's so cool it's like a butterfly and what's cool too is that you can put this on other belts since it actually like you can unbuckle them so you can put them on other belts that do that I talked about that for way too long. 
Okay, I did, I did a little bit more research and I actually found it. It came up with like, because I was Googling or trying to search a uh, butterfly or fairy, but it came up with a uh, butterfly. So I found one available also on Etsy. This one is $875 on Etsy, which is crazy, but I, it's actually a really heavy piece like just the buckle itself so and this one um in this item or is this item uh, the, in this listing it also does have the like the actual lizard belt strap so i feel like with the strap itself too since it's all completed like that would cost more in general and the buckles that i saw with just the moon on it were like around 400 the sterling silver one just sterling silver was 395 the one in gold was 400 but both without the belts itself so i feel like they're going to be more expensive with the belt um but yeah 875 that is crazy and it's the oh yeah sterling silver lady butterfly yes that is nuts i kind of want I'm just, i feel like i kind of want to keep these and see if i can find like a buckle or a belt to attach this to that I can wear. Because I feel like they're such cool buckles. I don't know, it's crazy. What would you guys do? Would you guys keep them? Would you guys use them? The, the size 2 belt definitely won't fit though. I like. I don't know if I'll keep them. Or I could probably just sell those by themselves. But I can't believe it. That's so crazy. What would you guys... Comment down below. What would you guys do? Would you keep them? Would you sell them? Would you... Figure out a way to wear them. If they don't fit, comment down below. If you're interested in them too, let me know. Because I might sell them. I'm, I'm still not sure. But yeah, we'll see. I want to show them to my mom. I haven't even shown her yet. She's going to think they're so cool. <laughs> uh, but the last thing that I got here is really, really cool too. I found this right as I was leaving. I was like, I'm going to look at the handbags one more time. And they did restock the handbags a little bit when I was gone from that section. And lo and behold, I found this Dooney and Burke, Burke, Dooney and Burke Star Wars wallet. Very, very cool. This was $14.99. And this wallet is so stinking cute. I love that it has like Yoda green on the inside. I'm just calling it Yoda green. I don't know if that's um, actually true. Our guac rocks. Oh, it has a <laughs> receipt from Chipotle inside. And it is really in really good shape on the interior. Oh, I think this is the... I don't know what this is. It might have been the original paper that came inside the wallet. But it is nice and clean on the inside. The exterior looks pretty darn good as well. And there is the print on there. And that's it for this little haul for today. I hope you guys had fun checking out the store with me. I know I always have a blast going to that store. It's one of my favorites. You never know what you're going to find. Like, these are pretty awesome finds, I think. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow by early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I do new videos every single day, Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Live sale every Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time, and I do sprinkle in live sales during the week, and I do them earlier, too, for people that can't join during the later live sale on Saturday. And I actually have the whole month scheduled already, so you can check that out Check that out here on my YouTube channel page. Just hit the video tab and all of the scheduled live sales for the rest of the month, January, will be there. Um, but you can always watch the uh, replays of the live sales as well. And you can also just message me if you're interested in anything that I show during the live sale or during these um, hauls and stuff. Um, and you can always ask and see if anything's available and I will message you back. Just make sure to email me. Email is the best way to reach me. You can also send me a... DM as well on Instagram, but email is usually the best. That's all linked down below in the description box. But that is it for today. I hope you guys had fun hanging out because I, I always have fun um, going to the thrift stores and showing you guys all the cool things. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye guys.